Dinosaur. Hello Sam. Today we are going to learn to read bigger numbers. That is four and five digit numbers. First tell me what is the largest three digit number? That's easy. It is nine 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 three nines read as nine hundred and ninety nine. Yes. And can you guess the next number? Yes. The next number would be the smallest four digit number which would be one followed by three zeros. And I can also tell you the largest four digit number. Following the pattern it would be nine fours nine 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 nine. And the next number would be the smallest five digit number. One followed by four zeros. But Masar, how do we read these numbers? Is this number 999 and 9? Uh, is this number 8024? And is this 636 and 75? I, I just cannot figure out how to read four and five digit numbers. So let's learn. Before we learn how to read four and five digit numbers, let's first understand number places for these digits. Here we have a five digit number with the digits two, seven, three, five, two. You already know that the rightmost digit is in the ones place. Before that we have the tens place and before that we have the hundreds place. Now, before the hundreds place, we have the thousands place and before that we have ten thousands place. Now thousands place is generally abbreviated to TH and ten thousands to TTH. Okay, so we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands. Now we divide the digits into groups or periods. In the case of five digit numbers, the ones, tens and hundreds digits together form the ones group or ones period. The thousands and ten thousand digits together form the thousands group or the thousands period. Now, the rule for writing large numbers is place a comma between periods like this. And now coming to reading the numbers. We start reading four and five digit numbers with the thousands period. We read the number in the period and add the word thousand to it. So in the case of this number, it is 27,000. Now we already know how to read the ones period. It is 352. So this number is 27,300. And 52. So to read the thousands period, we read the number in this period, then add the period name, thousand. But for ones period, we just read the number and not add the period name after it. Absolutely right. Now it's time to practice. 4936. This is a four digit number. So we have digits in ones, tens, hundreds, thousands place. Nothing in ten thousands place. The digits 936 form the ones group of period and 4 forms the thousands period alone as we do not have a digit in ten thousands place. We will put a comma between the two periods then let me start reading. First we will read the thousands period then the ones period. So 4936. Well done, Sam. Let's see another one. 50812, a five-digit number. So here we have digits in ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands place. We have 812 in the ones period and 50 in the thousands period. We need to put a comma between the two periods. And to read it, it will be 50,812. Correct. Now try this one. 6077. Four digits. So 077 form the ones period and 6 forms the thousands period. Here's the comma between the two. Number is 6077 since 077 is read as 77. 
Very good. Here's another one. Five nines. Aha! This is the largest five-digit number. We have 999 or 999 in the ones period and 99 in the thousands period. Comma between the two. So the number is 99,999. Excellent, Sam. In the next class, we will learn to read even larger numbers. Thank you, Miss R. Can't wait for it. Please like, share and subscribe.